Under optimum conditions, if you go to a health food store, um, Whole Foods, Tidal Creek is a cooperative uh, supermarket, uh, when you walk in, their staff is very knowledgeable. They'll generally be able to point you in that direction. So um, if you walk into, for instance, this store, they actually have a gluten-free information and product list. So it's pretty simple. You walk into the store, you open up the products, and if it's not on this list, then it has gluten in it. So um, they'll give you some options of breads and cereals and snacks and pasta, etc. Pasta, of course, is a big one because wheat is primarily pasta, but you can have rice pastas and things of that nature, um, and they will list them all. So that is obviously the best way to go about it. However, unfortunately, to make organic food is expensive, so these places are quite expensive. You can also go online and find gluten-free uh, supermarkets, and they will guarantee that everything on their website is gluten-free, and that's an option also, but you're paying for shipping. Um, you can't get perishable foods, so there's some cons to that as well. So if you're the average person and you can't afford to pay $8 for a bag of pretzels, um, you can go to your traditional supermarkets. And when you do go in there, um, it's about reading food labels. And um, you have to really look closely. Some of the mainstream supermarkets do have some foods that are gluten-free. Um, this actually says gluten-free on it. But if you turn around and you look um, at the ingredients, this is just rice. And you can have rice. You can have rice, you can have corn, you can have potatoes, you can have meat, you can have any vegetable or meat under the sun. But um, those don't contain gluten. So it's just about reading food labels. Um, as far as children's snacks, uh, you can go into a regular store and you can end up um, with corn chips, no gluten. Uh, rule of thumb is if you're in a regular supermarket, let's say you want to buy potato chips, if there are three ingredients, potatoes, oil, and salt, then you can have it. But if you see 19 ingredients, I would almost guarantee there's going to be gluten in that product.